Hi Vixian, this is Alice from Tasmania and my question is why does palm oil affect the orangutan so badly? Matt, what are you doing? I'm investigating. You know, BTN investigates, I'm the investigator. Alice wants to know why palm oil affects orangutans so badly. Okay, so what do you need the magnifying glass for? Okay, so I don't need the magnifying glass. Or the hat. But this is a topic worth investigating, because it's something that affects almost all of us. First, let's find out what it actually is. Palm oil is a type of, well, oil, that we get from the fruit that grows on palm trees. And it's used in lots, like up to half, of the things you'd find at the supermarket, from food to cleaning products. But palm oil itself isn't a problem. Farming it, though, can be. That's why I'm off to Adelaide Zoo to speak to an orangutan expert about how it affects them in the wild. This is Carla. She's studied orangutans for years now and even written a book about them. They're basically my hairy relatives. Um, you get really attached to them when you work in zoos or in the wild and get to know them. And they're just so beautiful, so smart and so incredible. And there are so few of them. She told me there are two types of orangutan and they're found in Indonesia and Malaysia but both species are critically endangered. <laughs> what are some of the threats to orangutans? Well, the major threats are deforestation and habitat loss. Um, and also illegal pet trade. So one of the problems is that the forest is cut down for things like oil palm or palm oil plantations and that takes away the home for the orangutans and for other species as well. There's a very great risk of them going extinct, maybe within the next 10 years, so we're all very worried about that. Palm oil is a massive business worth tens of billions of dollars. So in both Malaysia and Indonesia, huge areas of rainforest are being bulldozed to make room for palm oil plantations. On the upside, it gives jobs to tens of thousands of people in those countries, but many animals, like orangutans, pay the price. While some companies have agreed to stop clearing rainforests and produce palm oil sustainably, Carla says it's still a problem because the palm oil industry is now moving into other countries where other animals could be affected. But there's another issue conservationists are passionate about a bit closer to home, labelling. At the moment, there are no laws that say palm oil has to be stated clearly on the label. Most of the time it just says vegetable oil, which means if you want to avoid products that do contain palm oil, it's kind of hard. There are palm oil products you can buy that have been farmed safely, but many don't say so on the label. And while some companies have agreed to start using only sustainably farmed palm oil, there's still debate about whether it's actually happening. Which is why some people are pushing for stricter labelling laws in Australia, and wider changes to farming practice to protect animals like orangutans. But with the huge demand for palm oil, farmers, companies and conservationists will have to work together to have a hope of solving this one in the future. There you go, Alice. I hope that answered your question. And thanks for giving me a reason to use the magnifying glass.